Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. So you're looking to start a Schaefer business, but I guess you're worried about the costs. Well, don't worry, in this video I will show you how to get started with a very little money and build a successful Schaefer business from scratch. I will also share some tips and tricks for starting a successful Schaefer business without breaking the bank from finding the right niche to providing the top-notch customer service so you buckle up for the first steps toward um, starting your own Schaefer business uh, with this budget friendly tips. My name is Ratko, a Sydney based Schaefer aka Ray. On this channel I share my passion by giving you a glimpse into my Schaefer life. I know the idea of starting a Schaefer business may seem like an impossible dream especially when you consider the costs involved uh, but uh, before you give up on your dreams uh, chauffeuring the rich and famous uh, let me assure you that starting a chauffeur business it doesn't have to cost um, an arm and a leg with a little creativity and hard work you can get your chauffeur business up and running in no time chauffeur life now you might be thinking but uh, wait uh, i don't have a fleet of luxury cars and suitcase full of cash and I say to that who does the, the, the truth is uh, you can always start small and build up your business gradually with a single car you can begin offering services to a targeted niche such as corporate events airport transfers or even weddings and if you play your cards right you might just find yourself actually chauffeuring the rich and the famous so my whole point here is don't let the perceived costs scare you off from starting your own business in the grand transportation industry with a little bit of elbow grease and a lot of determination you can create a profitable business that will have people talking As a beginner, one of the great ways to get started in the Schaefer business is to work for an established limo company. Well, I say this many times, this can give you the opportunity to learn the ins and outs of the business and get comfortable with driving different types of vehicles and develop relationships with potential clients. Plus, you won't have to worry about the expenses of buying your own vehicle and its maintenance. Even if you are working for an established limo company, you're still essentially operating your own business. So most companies will hire you as an independent contractor, meaning you're responsible for your own expenses and taxes. And while the company may take a percentage of the earnings, typically around 50%, you're still running your own small business within the framework of the company. So this can actually be a great way to start learning the ropes of the chauffeur business without having to worry about all the overhead costs of running your own show. When starting a chauffeur business, one of the first things you need to consider is that what type of service you want to offer. So this will help you to determine your niche market and focus on your efforts on a specific type of client. For example, you may choose to specialize in airport transfers, wedding transportation or even corporate events depending on your interest and even even more importantly the demand in your local area When deciding what type of shape or business to start, I would not uh, say this is one-size-fits-all situation. This, like in life, you want to find your own unique niche that sets you apart from the competition. Maybe you are go-to for airport transfers or because you always you know the best route to beat the traffic or perhaps you specialize in wedding transportation because you have a flair for making even most uh, anxious bride or groom film calm and, and collected. Once you've decided on your niche, it's time to do some market research to determine the demand in your local area. Look at the competition and see what they are offering and, and what price. Are there any gaps in the market that you can fill with your services? Talk to a potential clients to get a sense of what they are looking for in a, in a show for service and what they are willing to pay for it. Show for life. 
for the people that already have a vehicle that needs obviously the approval for, for this business or even for the ones buying a car for your chauffeur business, you don't need to break the bank. In fact, you can often find quality used vehicles that are perfectly suitable for the fraction of a price of a brand new car. Of course, you will want to make sure the car is in a great condition and has been in has been well maintained uh, so before you make the purchase. So you don't want to be stranded on the side of a, a road with a group of angry passengers. It's also important to make sure the car is comfortable and spacious enough to accommodate the passengers so they can sit back and relax. When it comes to choosing a car for your chauffeur business, you want to strike a balance between the cost effectiveness and the quality. Uh, you want to make a good impression on your clients and give them a comfortable experience. So you find a car that fits your budget and meets your clients' needs. Chauffeur life. Now that you have your vehicle, it's time to think about branding your business. This includes uh, coming up with a catchy name and a logo that represents your unique brand. It's important to have a strong brand presence as it can help you stand out in the crowded market and attract potential clients. Thankfully, there are many affordable options for creating a website and designing a logo. So you can hire option one freelance designer to create a professional logo or use a, even a website builder like Wix or Squarespace to easily create your own website. And don't forget about the social media. It's a great way to connect with the potential clients and showcase your services. It's time to put on your marketing hat and get the word about your chauffeur business. Start by reaching out to your network and letting them know about your new venture. You never know who might be in need of your services and who might refer your way. Just make sure to keep it professional so you know you get memes on your business page, please. And don't forget about special promotions or discounts to attract new clients. Who doesn't love uh, a good deal, so you put your best foot forward and let the world know that you're ready for to chauffeur them around in style. Last but not least, providing excellent customer service is crucial for the success of your chauffeur business. After all, happy clients are more likely to recommend your services to others and leave positive reviews. Make sure always be professional, courteous and on time. A little bit of kindness goes a long way and don't forget to pay attention to the details. Keep the car clean and comfortable. Other amenities like water or snacks and willing to go the extra mile and make your clients feel special. So there you have it. A brief guide on how to start a chauffeur business with a little money. Remember, it takes hard work and dedication, but uh, with a little bit of creativity, you can start your chauffeur successful business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.